In this week's episode, we're going to talk about Killstar's new hair dye. And what we like about it and what we don't like about it. And everything in between. Stick around to find out more. Greetings, spooky people. Welcome to Project Raven. Uh, today, Duchess and I have a special video for you, so let's get right into it. So, Duchess, what are we doing today? So, we both tried Killstar's new all-seeing dye, and um, I think we're going to talk about it a bit. Yeah, for sure. So, we um, thought it'd be kind of cool, because, you know, Killstar is getting into, the, like, cosmetics and that sort of thing, and this was a recent addition to the line, so we thought it'd be kind of fun to try it because we've both been dyeing our hair for a bazillion years and it's kind of cool to try, right? Um, About 25 so years. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, both of us, yeah. So, this should be cool. Uh, so, we did two different colors. I did, of course, the purple, which the purple I got is called Wolf's Bane, and you did the... Hell Kit. Hell Kitty. Not Hello Kitty, but Hell Kitty. Yes. The pink one? Yes. Yeah, so. it's, uh, yeah. Pretty bright. Good. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have uh, what, like four or five different colors, um, which I'll show a little overlay of that here in a second. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so let's take a look at our hair yesterday. Yeah, so let's uh, get the crystal ball out and go back to yesterday or just insert the video that's probably easier let's do that so here you go this is us from the past this is what our hair looked like before we started the dyeing process so here you go okay so this is our before looks so for me this has been about two weeks since i had it colored at the salon uh don't know the name of the color that they use there but it's some purple professional stuff i don't know um and then you can hardly see it but there's purple down here now um so i'm going to touch that up and see how that goes so i know there's some great videos out there that show people doing like tests of this dye but i thought it'd be kind of cool to see how it works over already dyed hair so that's my little twist on it um so this is the before All right, so Duchess, tell us about uh, your situation. So I've got um, some blonde going on here. I'm not a fan of blonde on myself. Um, this is two bleachings and uh, at home. After having hot pink hair for months, I used Manic Panic before. And as you can see, some of it was still hanging on pretty good in the back. But um, I think it's definitely light enough to throw some color on top of it. So I'm excited to try this. Um, Hell Kitty color. So, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, for sure. Let's go color our hair and come back. <laughs> All right. So here we are in the after. Um, after we did it. So my bangs. The purple came out really good in the bangs. It's going over purple, as you saw. I was just faded after two weeks of me having it professionally done. Uh, the bottom part, we... Well, you really can't tell of a difference. Um, we've been, we just started the process of bleaching the bottom out because I'm going to do a black to purple ombre eventually, but you know, you can't just bleach it all at once or you fry your hair. So that's a work in progress. So I didn't, I was a little disappointed that it didn't do much with that, but that's kind of to be expected. So I'm not going to ding it for that, but the bangs came out pretty, pretty color. Um, so, you know, it's, I think it's a good solid purple. Um, pretty close to my normal one. It may have a little bit more blue than I like, but pretty decent. It still looks so, good. It's a good purple. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a good purple. purple. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is the lighter of the two purples that they have. We should mention that. The other one's like a really intense purple. I'll, like I said, I'll show Almost some clips of it. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's talk about your Hell Kitty pink. Yeah, so I went for the pink, of course. Um, it, this is I hope it's um, coming through accurately. It is a, a very intense um, fuchsia, I would say. It's more of a fuchsia color. Um, I like it. It's a little bit um, 
I would like it to be a little bit lighter um, for my personal preference, but I've been doing the neons a lot lately. So, but the collar does look solid. I mean, it looks good. Um, my hair was pretty, pretty light. So this is, should be a pretty, you know, solid color. Um, yeah, I mean, it bled very little um, when I rinsed it out. Um, and I didn't have any staining on my sheets or anything. So that was good. Um, I was a little worried about some of that, but um, this was one of the colors that I watched a video on before, and it came out easily. So this is why I went with this color. I didn't want to do anything too dark. It's hard to go back from that. So the formula, or the, the where is my box? <laughs> um, the consistency is a little, you want to talk about that? Yeah. So like we're saying, we watched another video that was really good that showed like it on blonde hair samples is really good thorough and video uh but her formula was like it was more liquidy ours is like <laughs> it's like a lump here it's like it's I like i had to had shake to it slam it down exactly i had to slam it, it down i actually i actually threw the bottle across the room accidentally because it slipped out of my hands it was like i was like ah. I mean, <laughs> yes. it's still not budging yeah. Yeah, so it's starting to creep down the sides. It's so thick. So yeah. in Aislinn's video, it was like water. Yeah, this is like barely moving. So I think that they might have some issues with consistency there. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I agree. The formula is not very consistent. Uh, this is all like a new thing, so it's not like it was old stock or anything. So it's I think there's some consistencies with the batches that are yeah weird, right? It could be. Um, otherwise I had no complaints about it. Although there's no, it doesn't say what the color is on the bottle. Like Aislinn mentioned that in her video too, that it should say that on the bottle. Um, cause some of the colors look, if you don't have the box, they're all really kind of similar. Um, I did like the applicator bottle. I mean, if the formula was a little easier to, um, you know, get out. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. The logo is yeah. great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. How much was this again? So it was twelve ninety nine. Um, so I don't know if this will be the case when you guys see this video, but it was on sale for like eight dollars because they had like a site wide sale, but probably won't be going on unfortunately. But yeah, even at twelve bucks, that's pretty cool hair dye it's pretty good that's a pretty standard going rate for yeah. a lot of hair dyes um they're right around that price part point i'd say um i've been doing manic panic myself for the last few years it works for me great um and that's right around that same price um arctic fox is a little more expensive usually and then you know other professional salon brands too but yeah. um for the i think you get a lot of value out of this yeah. one though because like I only used, well, now you can't tell, but I used half a bottle on my hair, you know, and I have a pretty full coverage here. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I can touch it up again. Yeah, we originally thought you might need two bottles. <laughs> so it oh, worked yeah. out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I only used a quarter, but I have a lot less of the purple yeah. or, you know, yep. colored part of my hair. Um, yeah. So I'll be really anxious to and curious to see how it fades out. Um, Same, especially with this one because this is a little bit, it's a little bit darker than I normally go. I'm gonna be curious to see how that's gonna fade out. It could fade out really good, you know. I'm hoping. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, what I normally do is I use a product called Overtone. It's a purple that I just put in here, and you just literally slather it on your hair and wash it. It's a colored tinted conditioner that actually works really well. I was surprised how well that worked, but that's like $40 a jar. Um, so <laughs> definitely a lot more money. Um, one thing I will say about the, uh, the, the one we're reviewing here is it's got to be shipped ground because it's a liquid. So to order the two of ours, it was like $11 shipping. So honestly, I would probably buy it when you're buying stuff in Killstar anyway, you know, just add it to the order because you're already paying shipping. But because that really adds rings the price up you know it was like 11 bucks to ship two of them yeah it was like doubling or tripling the whole order yeah. basically by that yeah. which i know i hate it too but like shipping prices in this, in this country are just awful but yeah yeah what are you gonna do 
So it's something to consider. Make, to make the most of your order, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just spend a ton of money like like we do <laughs> in your orders, right? So what we're going to do is kind of check back in in two weeks to see how it faded. Um, so you'll see that like right after we finish up here in a little bit, um, just to kind of get a good feel for it. Cause like right now it looks great, but who knows? Um, yeah, no, I, I was happy too that it, a lot of it didn't really wash out when I washed my hair the first time, which is pretty impressive. So that's pretty nice. So. I almost thought about washing my hair after I rinsed it just to see if I could get it to tone down a little bit, maybe like, but I don't think it's going to, you know, matter. I would, I'm just going to see how it goes. I don't wash my hair a lot normally. Um, to preserve my color also like I just don't you know produce as much oil on my scalp um, so I don't have to wash my hair so often so I usually keep my color pretty bright for weeks but um, we'll see what happens with it Um, one other interesting thing we both noticed is the scent of it it was like, oh, this yeah. seems so familiar. What is this? It's like, this is mm-hmm. like, it smells really good. And then you figured out what it was. It's double bubble. Halloween, like, like Aislinn said, the Halloween candy, it's like that awful bubble gum that makes your teeth hurt and the flavor goes away really quickly. But it smells so damn good. <laughs> oh, it smells great. Yeah. Yeah, I did like that. I tried to get my friend um, to smell it, and he was like, "No." <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, the, the uh, colors all smell the same too. Yeah, that sounds weird to say colors smelling the same, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Is uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's very. It brought back memories for me too. It's funny we both were thinking that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a smell you cannot forget. No, you can't. Or the taste, but that's a whole other thing. Not the yeah, not the, the hair dye, <laughs> the 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 oh, gumball. Yeah. yeah, no. So that was kind of yeah. cool. It smells great. So yeah, I would say uh, overall this is a pretty good dye. Um, if these are colors that you're looking for, I would recommend them. Um, I'm I would be really curious to see if they're going to come out with some more colors. Like these are all a lot of jewel tones that they have going right now. So I wonder if they're going to come out with some more like I don't know some blues or greens or something else. You know, some smoky colors. Um, we'll see see yeah no for sure so i think we're both saying it's it's good we like it uh there are some caveats uh as with anything in life <laughs> uh, as with any new so. company and any company just dipping their toes into beauty stuff so it's a learning exactly. curve exactly yeah like yeah like the coven makeup stuff is they got good, that's good stuff you know it's so they'll get there it's pretty cool um so what we'll do now is cut to the video of us in the future so and then we'll kind of wrap up with our thoughts and that kind of thing but so hello to future us and uh here you go (laughs) all right everybody welcome to the future we are exactly two weeks to the day from when we actually dyed our hair uh and this is what it looks like so kind of show you there all right, um, so for mine, um, you can see it faded to a a lighter purple. Uh, it's kind of hard to capture this properly, but it is, you know, it's faded to about what mine normally fades to. Um, and so, yeah, pretty good, pretty happy. It's not, it's a pretty good color. Um, this is about as light as I like mine to get. So I will be touching it up after this video, but I think two weeks, that's very respectable. Um, so Duchess, let's, t- let's talk about uh, how yours went. So I've got some pretty significant fading, I would say, but I don't wash my hair as often as a lot of people do. Um, It's kind of fading on the sides here. Um, At least it's fading evenly. I did get a lot of compliments on this color, I have to say. Um, Even though I don't particularly like it the most, um, I would like something brighter. I did get a lot of compliments on it, so there's that. Um, It was a really intense, gorgeous fuchsia so I did have a lot of um a lot of bleed out when I washed my hair too though so okay yeah yeah Yeah, I actually didn't get any of that with the purple but I have a lot less of it in my hair too and it's not on you know bleached hair so yeah no that's great no it still looks pretty 
good. It's like not like something you'd have to touch up like now. You could get by a little bit longer. Oh yeah, no, be I would fine. Yeah. have to, but I'm gonna probably bleach it out and just do my normal colors. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just because that's you know, but um, I think it lasted really well and um, it's a good value. I mean, I got a lot of compliments, so that must mean it looked good and you know, people liked it. So the test is gonna be how well it bleaches out again. I think because oh. like that's going to be a thing but I remember in Aislinn's video she said that it did come out really easily so yeah she does we'll see we shall see <laughs> so yeah I would uh you know if I was doing another Killstar order and they had it I'd, I'd probably buy it again um I'll honestly probably use my um overtone still but I have this I'll still use this too uh just because the overtone's a little easier to get out of the jar and just slathered on my uh, hair but yeah i'll still use it so it's i say it's definitely worth buying uh play with it it's cool to see them going this route and into other things than clothes and housing accessories so i don't think you'll disabuse or you'll be disappointed with the purchase of this dye like the, all the colors are really good if you're into those colors um i'm really excited and hoping that they're coming out with some new colors as well exactly yeah, so I think we both think it's a success. So there you go. Give it a try. Uh, occasionally, it looks like it goes on sale. So you might get a good deal on it. Um, all right, so that's our video for today. Uh, thanks to everybody who subscribed. Uh, we've actually crossed the 100 subscriber mark, which is an amazing milestone. So thank you. So that's a big deal. So thank you, everybody. Congratulations, uh, if you're not subscribed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, thanks to you and your help for these videos. It's been amazing doing them together with plenty more to come so for sure uh so if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing uh like we said we got tons of cool stuff planned and we're always open to ideas so just leave us a comment some cool videos you'd like to see and we'll see what we can do for you um and now raven and duchess must fly see you in the next video